Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am still trying to catch up in 2016 films, movies that I wanted to watch, but I didn't get a chance to watch them until right now. This time, I am reviewing The Girl on the Train. This was directed by Tate Taylor. It's based on the novel of the same name written by Paula Hawkins. And the plot is we meet Emily Blunt, who plays Rachel. And Rachel, we see her at the very beginning taking the train. She takes the train every morning, commuting. And you think it's for work. But no, it's not for work. Because she was married to this guy, Tom. But Tom cheated on her. He cheated on her with this woman, Anna. And the two of them moved into what used to be Rachel's house. They have a kid together now. So that's a little awkward. But Rachel uses this train commute every morning to pass by this house to look at them, to almost stalk them. And she does this. She's been doing it. It's very weird. It's very out there. She also drinks. She's been drinking heavily. And it doesn't look good for her in her state of mind, her well-being. But when something mysterious happens in the neighborhood, something very bad, Rachel looks like the number one suspect for many reasons. And so that's what this movie is trying to figure out. Did Rachel do something very heinous and something that she would regret? Now, what I think of the girl on the train is, you know what? I, I've, I've looked online at some of the reviews for this movie and they haven't been... Maybe 50-50 is what they've been. Some people enjoyed it. Some people are really hating on this movie. But you know what? I enjoyed it. I did. Look, I think the thing that I enjoyed the most about this movie, the thing that I was impressed about the most from this movie was Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt is so good. Just as this Rachel character that you buy her being down and out, being a drunk, being so out of it and just a mess, a complete mess. As attractive, physically as attractive as Emily Blunt is, when you see how she is now, just how hard she took the breakup from her husband, and you get tidbits about like, he cheated on her, so maybe you might feel bad for her, but then you get some glimpses, some flashbacks of how she treated him as a wife and how terrible it was, and you go like, oh, okay, Maybe I don't blame this guy as much as I thought. And she just, she's so good at being pathetic and just like, you kind of feel bad for her because she's the main character. But then as you watch the movie, you wonder, well, how much of this can I trust? She's as what we call an unreliable narrator. And so a lot of this movie, you're wondering what's real, what's not, what's, what is she seeing or what is she, because she blacks out and she doesn't remember what happens and she has to get told what she was doing in these blackouts. Uh, Justin Theorix plays Tom, her ex-husband. And this is a guy that I've seen here and there, but I didn't quite recognize that it was him until I looked him up. He was good in the movie. Uh, the woman he was cheating on that he's now with, Anna, is played by Rebecca Ferguson, who, again, I was looking at her during the movie and thinking she looks very familiar. I have to have seen her from somewhere. And when I looked her up, I realized, yes, she's the Rebecca Ferguson from Mission Impossible 5, the actress that everybody was talking about. She was so great in that movie, such a badass. And so it's surprising to see her here because she's still good. She's a good actress, but... I, you know, you almost were waiting to see what was the next thing she was going to do after Mission Impossible. And it was just kind of a small sort of movie. But again, she was fine. Haley Bennett plays Megan, who is the next door neighbor. She kind of has her own messed up story, side story going on. And some of the supporting cast, we have Luke Evans as Scott. He's Megan's husband. And Luke Evans has always been an actor that's that's been pretty decent to me i've never loved him or disliked him but this was i think his best performance for me at least just a guy who has a little bit of an anger issue but you understand it like when he finds out that his wife is cheating on him and just he's put through a lot and and i thought he sold it uh 
the supporting cast, Allison Janney plays a detective. Like I said, when something really shady happens, she's having to investigate it. And her number one suspect is Rachel. Emily Blunt looks super suspicious and super guilty, but you need hard evidence. And that's what she's going off of. Edgar Ramirez is here. Uh, Lisa Kudrow, who's small part, but I thought everybody was fine. The acting was fine. I thought everybody served their purpose. I think the biggest thing about this movie, the big hype of this movie, because going into it, all I really heard about was how uh, much this book sold, how popular the book was, and it was supposed to be what? The next Gone Girl. I, I just kept hearing that, and I loved Gone Girl. Gone Girl just blew me away. So I, I guess I was expecting to love this movie on that level, and I didn't quite get there. And I think a big part of that is there's a twist. I'm not going to reveal the twist. I'm not going to talk about the twist really at length or anything. I'm just going to say that maybe because of the comparison to Gone Girl, maybe because I I was aware that there was a twist, I was looking for it. And I figured it out pretty early. So I wasn't shocked. I wasn't blown away like maybe some people could have been or maybe other people thought it was predictable too. That's not the point. Whether the twist is, is predictable or not, I still think the movie is fine. It's shot well. It's acted well. I think uh, I think maybe, who knows, maybe if I didn't know that there was a twist, maybe I wouldn't have seen it coming. I thought maybe just the performances were good enough to get me through this movie. And and I think Emily Blunt just is really great here. She is. So look, did I love the movie? Am I over the moon about the movie? I guess not, but I still enjoyed it. I still had fun. <laughs> not fun, but I still thought it was it was presentable. <laughs> Overall, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a matinee. I I would be okay with going to see this at the theater with a low, low price. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you saw The Girl on the Train. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? This is pretty divisive online. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! <laughs>